Hello, this is Spartan Commander, and this is the 859th Rome Total War Brother game that I've put onto YouTube. Just to let you know that this battle was fought back in March, get ready for this, 2011. So this battle is actually 13 years old. Um, just to give you a bit of history um, about RTW here, um, Rome Total War was built to be played on the GameSpy server. Veterans will know all about GameSpy, but that was the original server that Rome Total War was meant to be played on. Um, unfortunately, they turned the GameSpy servers off, I think in 2013, 2014, somewhere around about there. And that's when most of us went onto Steam um, or Game Ranger. So this battle, because it's pre-2013, okay, would have been played on the CD version and played on the GameSpy platform. Okay, so just to let you know that, that this is um, up to about 2013 when they turned the GameSpy um, servers off. We all used to play Rome Total War from the CD, which, uh, you know, probably sounds quite funny to a lot of people, but that's what we used to do. And as I say, this battle would have been fought from the CD um, on the GameSpy um, platform. And as I say, this battle is 13 years old. Um, I think it was actually fought on the 21st of March 2011, so it is only just over 13 years old, this battle is. And um, I think it'd be interesting to see tactics, strategies, army builds from that time ago, see if there is a real difference, because I, I, I think the army builds and things like that have evolved over the years. Okay. Um, and just to say that our first teammate, now he's called himself Old Guard, but it is the host of this battle, and that's Brotherhood member FF. Okay, we called ourselves different names in this battle for some reason. I don't know why, just for a laugh, I think. So it's Brotherhood member FF. Now he's got 15 infantry and 5 cavalry. Okay, 15 infantry and 5 cavalry. And remember that F, and there you can see got seven upgrades on his cavalry. Remember that F, F is the uh, Brotherhood member who has transferred a lot of very old battles to me so I can put it on this YouTube channel. Okay, our next teammate is someone who's called himself Old Guard, okay? But we believe this is Killer B. A lot of veterans would know Brotherhood member Killer B. And he has got 15 infantry, one archer, and four cavalry. So Old Guard, just Old Guard with no number, is Brotherhood member Killer B. A quick look at the upgrades on his cavalry. I'm thinking seven upgrades. Yep, seven upgrade and experience stripe gold shield gold attack on Killer B's um, cavalry there so he's just called old guard remember ff is old guard three okay and here is myself spartan commander but i've called myself old guard two okay now i have got 14 infantry and six cavalry okay so old guard two is myself spartan commander and as i say we, we called ourselves different names for this in this battle for it must have been for a bit of a laugh but i can't really remember it because it's as i say it's 13 years ago so um is it something a bit a bit different, I suppose? And our last teammate is someone who's called himself Charlie. Now, we've never had a Brotherhood member called Charlie. So this is a, another Brotherhood member who's, for some reason, has called himself Charlie. But unfortunately, neither Eth or myself can remember who it really was. So this Brotherhood member's real name is lost in the mists of time, unfortunately. So I can't really tell you who he is. He's got 14 infantry, one archer, and five cavalry. Okay, now straight away, can you see a difference? in our armies from what you would on the modern day battlefield is there anything that you've noticed there that um, is, is something a bit different well if we have a look you'll see see one archer there so Charlie's bought one archer unit okay um, it, I never bring I didn't bring any archers and there you are and you can see that killer b old guard bought an archer unit so in all of our four roman armies we've just got two archer units that's all we've got now you know on modern day you know if, if this was a, a rome v rome today you know some people bring six sometimes eight archer units don't they just you know one player but here you can see out of four rome armies only two archer units so that's how much things have changed in 13 years and here is the other team. We have Core Member First Prime. Now, I'm just going to give you a bit of history about the Core Clan here. Now, a lot of you will know that First Prime is a Brotherhood member now, but 13 years ago, he was uh, the leader of the mighty Core Clan. 
Now, the Korra clan started right back in the early days of Rome Total War when there was 12,500 denarii for CWB clans, and then that went up to 15k as it is today for CWB, and then they moved on to 30k and then eventually 31k. So the core members could play on all the different monies there, and they were a really good clan. They were always a small clan but they were really full of elite players. And as you can see there, you can see Core First Prime. Can you see Emperor, EMP, at the end of his name? So he was in charge of the Coral Clan at this stage. If you notice here, I'd just like to draw your attention. Can you see that he's got an Eagle unit as his general unit? Okay, now he's got 16 infantry and four cavalry. 16 infantry and four cavalry. And as you can see, he's got an Eagle unit as his general. Okay, you don't see that very often these days, do you? Now the next teammate is another core member and that is core sarge okay now core sarge has got 13 infantry two archers and five cavalry so as you can see that's uh, two core members so far uh, sarge very good player as well very aggressive player as i remember and once again do you notice that his general is an eagle unit okay so both first prime's general and core sarge's general both eagle units okay you don't see that very often these days do you but obviously that must be what the coral clan was doing 13 years ago my guess is seven upgrades would be four four yep seven upgrades on his cavalry and experience stripes gold shield gold attack so that's sarge's army uh, so that's two core members can you notice the forward units of his battle formation there oh something a bit different Okay, their next teammate is another core member. Now, this is Core Danny. Now, he's a second in command of the core clan. Now, Danny has got 14 infantry and 6 cavalry. But once again, I'd like to draw your attention to his general unit. Once again, an eagle unit there. A legionly first cohort eagle unit. Now, now we know that the eagle units are not as tough as the urban cohorts unit. So, to have your general as um, the Eagle unit is very unusual. But all three core members have done exactly the same. And now here's something you might find interesting here. Once again, you'll see, my guess is, yep, seven upgrades on the cavalry and experience stripe gold shield gold attack. But here's something you might find um, interesting. Can you see their fourth teammate is someone called Turbo. Okay, so this is Brotherhood member Lando. Okay, when Turbo first started, um, when Lando first started to play Rome Total War, he called himself Turbo. And this just goes to show how many years ago this battle was fought because Tur um, Lando stroke Turbo has been in the Brotherhood for many, many years. But this is before he was in the Brotherhood and he just called himself Turbo. Okay, so I just thought you might find that interesting. He's got 13 infantry, two archers and four cavalry. Okay, but it is Brotherhood member Lando of today, but as you could see, Turbo from those years ago. And he usually brings, there you are, he's got eight upgrades on his cavalry, two experienced stripes, gold shield, gold attack. So remember that Turbo is today's Brotherhood member Lando. Okay, so there's the team, three elite core members, and then you've got um, Turbo as well, which we know is a good player as well. It's got the potential to be a cracking battle from 13 years ago. Should be interesting. At this stage of the battle, I thought you'd like to have a look at my old um, battle formation here. Can you see my um, pilot shield units? I'm no longer, um, that's, you know, that's the battle, the pilot shield units I had from 13 years ago. Um, a lot of you will know my uh, pilot shield units are a lot different from that. But if you notice here, can you see that I've got two eagle units, two morale boosting eagle units, plus my infantry general unit within my infantry. Okay, and that's what I had 13 years ago in one of my Roman armies. I had several different Roman armies, but that's that one. If you notice here, I put my cavalry over there, and that is to just um, escort my ally over, because in those days you used to have lightning cavalry attacks from enemy troops on your allies as they moved across to the center. So that's why I put my cavalry over there to help if needed. At this stage of the battle, I thought we'd have a look at FS infantry battle formation there. Look how straight those lines are. Very tidy battle formation there, I thought. Um, and there you are, you can see this should be a, a really a cracking battle for you to watch here. And you can see the enemy troops gradually moving towards our troops. Okay, at this very, very early stage of the battle here, you'll see the enemy uh, troops moving towards us. As I said, all the core um, clan were very aggressive players, and we know that Turbo. Orlando is a very aggressive player as well, even 13 years ago. So um, 
you can see them moving towards us now and uh, there'll be a bit of pilot exchanging going on at the moment and here you can see these archers shooting point blank into the uh, the Roman troops opposite there a Sarge's archers as I say I think the um, the enemy team have only got four archer units in as well so as I say we were going through a spell where an, in a lot of battles there was no archers at all and as I say you can see that our team are all the blue Scipioi troops and you can see the enemy team are the Julii and the purple SBQR so it'll be easy for you to follow the battle there okay you can see here that the enemy put um, a couple of their units into Testudo Remember, like we've talked about before, this is a real battle formation used by the Romans back in the day. If you look at that Testudo unit, can you see how they're covered from missiles from basically all directions? Anything coming in from the flanks, anything coming in from this, the front, anything coming in above them is covered by the shields. Very effective unit um, formation there. And as I say, you can see it moving towards us there. And as I say, a unit in test studio is going to suffer a lot less casualties than a unit in normal mode. Here you can see that the archer units there, those two archer units, I think are going to be targeting uh, some of our cavalry at the back there. It wouldn't surprise me if those um, cavalry units backed off there a little bit because they're being hit by archer fire. So over here on our left flank, you'll see that um, a Brotherhood member FF and Turbo, or uh, Lando as he is known today, are fighting it out here on the left flank and then you've got the left center remember old guard is killer b okay brotherhood member killer b is old guard i know it's a bit confusing I, and i've got no idea why we called ourselves different names for this battle but must have just been for a laugh here right can you see this cavalry charge coming in here looking to take out that uh, red julio unit there and the general saw that coming in turbo saw that coming in and back that unit off so that was a good withdrawal move there by turbo otherwise that unit would have been taken out by that cavalry charge okay and meanwhile over on our right flank here you'll see that um first prime core leader first prime at this stage 13 years ago facing charlie whoever the that uh, brotherhood member really is we've got no idea but uh, he's called charlie in this battle anyway and you can see a bit of pilot exchange going on between them there okay but as i say it's uh, very unusual to see a rome v rome only battle these days isn't it but back in those days there were a lot of rome v rome battles here you can see as i say the enemy put several of their forward units into testudo there okay you can see i think sarge is facing me. remember i'm old guard two okay I know it's confusing because you've got Old Guard, Old Guard 3 and Old Guard 2. <laughs> I know it's, uh, as I say, a bit confusing there. And you've got Charlie, as I say, on our right flank facing um, First Prime. And over here you can see a lot of skirmishing going on at the moment. There. And you can see Sarge moving and Turbo moving forward there towards um, Killer B and um, FF there. Okay. All right, let's just pause the game for a second here. Now, in those days, I was quite an aggressive attacking player. Okay, so you can see my army there, and you can see these two units in Testudo moving forward. Now, what I'm thinking here is to surge my infantry forward to engulf those um, units in Testudo and then charge my cavalry in to try and take that Testudo unit out. Do you see what I mean? So I think that's what my thinking was there. So you might see me charge my army forward to engulf that Testudo unit just moving closer to my troops. I'm not going to throw pilers into that unit because I know that uh, most of my pilers would be wasted. But uh, you may well see me charge forward there, as I say, with my infantry to engulf that unit and then charge my cavalry in to take that unit out. The only trouble is, if I'm aggressive and I attack, and attack here, because I know the other team is so aggressive and so attacking, they may well attack my army here as well. Right, can you see my infantry surging forward now? Okay, and bang as I engulf that unit. Now watch my cavalry coming in. I'm looking to hit that Testudo unit. Try and take that Testudo unit out there. My cavalry piercing through my infantry. Get ready for this, and bang, I smash into that Testudo unit. Okay, but can you see straight away that Julio General there, Sarge is counter-attacking with his cavalry. I need to pull my cavalry back out there before I take the impact of that enemy cavalry, and 
bang! Now look, watch the penetration of that Julio cavalry into my infantry formation. Look how far he penetrated there with that cavalry charge. That was a nice counter-attack there by Sir Right, let's pause the game for a second here. Okay, so... As I say, nice counter-attack there by Sarge. But if you notice here, can you see my allies have backed me up here with their cavalry, ready to charge in. Great teamwork here. And they're already there. You've got cavalry units there. We will charge back in. Now, this could, this could well have been the catalyst of the battle here, knowing how aggressive the enemy team are. Over here, let you'll see Killer B facing... Um, one of, one of the Julio troops, Danny, I think. And then you've got Danny there as well. And you've got Turbo over on the other flank. So make no mistake, there's a lot of skirmishing going on here that could turn into a full battle here on our left centre and left flank. Okay? But here, as I say, this could be the catalyst of the battle here. Um, that, uh, that cavalry charge that I sent in there and the counter-attack by Sarge is Julio cavalry there. This could well be a big impact place. As, an, as I say, the enemy team we know are extremely aggressive. And they already can see, can you see um, Sarge now surging his infantry forward into the forward units of my battle formation? Look at that. And can you see, you can see First Prime's cavalry, his SBQR cavalry charging. Look at all the enemy cavalry locked and loaded, ready to charge into my infantry there. Oh my gosh, right, you can see our cavalry counter-attacking, look, and bang, as that charges in there, right, you can see all the enemy cavalry charging in there, and it could break us at this point, and bang, as they smash in there, you can see us counter-attacking with our cavalry as well, you can see the enemy cavalry locked and loaded, going to come in as well, oh my gosh, and bang, as they smash in there. Oh my gosh, now remember my infantry, I had those two Eagle units and my infantry general there as well. So there's great morale boosting units there, but look at the uh, attack there. Now can I ask you a question here? Do you think these days we would do this, like can you see we're really sending loads of reinforcements into this particular part of the battlefield, kind of barricading the front door, and each team is trying to break down that barricaded front door, isn't it? Can you see that? It's a real um, blunt force trauma attack there, is there? No tactics, no strategy, just blunt force trauma by both teams. Okay, that's a 13-year-old tactic. Now today, do you think we would be doing that or do you think we'd be looking at more tactical and strategic um, kind of flanking movements? Do you think we'd be more likely to do that? Do you think tactics and strategy have evolved over 13 years? Or do you think we just go for the blunt force trauma, trying to uh, break down each uh, other's barricaded front door, if you see what I mean? Meanwhile, over here, you'll see the FF there is combating Turbo, but we know that Turbo's very aggressive. Do you think that FF might try and flank here? He may well do that. But as I say, the main um, part of the battle is the center ground here, where both teams are trying to break down the barricaded front door of the other team. Here you can see Sarge, his archers there, shooting arrows into the flank of our uh, one of our allies. Here, look at Charlie's um, pilot shield unit there. Not only has he suffered casualties from pilots, but also he's been shot point blank from those archers in his flank there. Okay, so you can see there that... Um, that particular um, unit has been greatly reduced there. And First Prime's got a couple of his units in Testudo where he's going to move reinforcements over to the centre there. You can see that's where the real battle is starting here in the centre. And we're just throwing everything in, trying to break down the barricaded front door of the enemy troops. And they're trying to break down the, the barricaded front door of our um, battle formations there. But to, as I say, it's just a case of blunt force trauma at this particular part of the battle. See, there's no subtlety, there's no clever tactical moves. It's just bash, crash, smash there. Um, so as I say, I think tactics and strategies may well have moved on a little bit from 13 years ago. But there you are, you can see First Prime, can you see he's moved his general? You know, his general's not actually fighting, but that general's been moved there to give morale, extra morale boost to his allies' troops. But there you'll see, I think it's um, Sarge, his general, a little bit possibly exposed to attack there from cavalry coming in on him, possibly there, okay? You can see I've got my general, actually, my general is a bit exposed to cavalry attacks there. But as I say, I've got my infantry general and my two eagle units there. 
Now remember that my Eagle units and my General unit don't just give morale to my troops, but it, they give morale to all my Allies' troops as well. Okay, so there's a heck of a lot of morale going on for our troops at this particular part of the battlefield. Okay, but you can see it's smash, bash and crash. Blunt force trauma attacks going in there, and it'll be interesting to see who wins that battle. Maybe this is going to be a pivotal part of the battlefield here. Okay, but meanwhile over here on our left flank, you'll see Turbo being very, very aggressive, as we know he really is all the time. But you can see FF there um, just kind of hold in there. He's got those units he could possibly move around the flank if he wants to. Okay, that's a possible thought there for FF. And as you move along the battle line there, over on our right flank there, you'll see uh, the Testudo units of First Prime holding there against um, Charlie. Right, but here, look, you can see, um, it looks to me like the red troops, do, is there more red troops there than our blue troops? Is that, uh, does that look right to you, the red Julio there, more red Julio troops there? But we've got our cavalry locked and loaded, ready to charge in there. Maybe go for that general. Maybe going for that general unit of Sarge there. You can see the enemy counter-attacking with their cavalry as well. Oh my gosh, that bang, that smashes in there. Oh my gosh. As I say, this could be a decisive and pivotal part of the battle. You can see more cavalry of ours, our blue Scipio cavalry charging in again, let them bang, getting a full cavalry charge bonus every time we charge in there. And you can see the Julio cavalry counter-attacking there, look. Oh my gosh, I can see the enemy look like they're moving back some of their troops and I can see a lot of their troops are starting to rout but you can see they move their cavalry back there locking and loading that cavalry ready to charge it back in there and you can see that cavalry counter-attacking again that and bang as it smashes in there as I say, no subtle, delicate, clever, tactical, strategic moves here. Blunt force trauma. That's what's happening here by both teams. Okay, but meanwhile, over on our left flank, now here is some good tactical move. Um, Killer B's cavalry in combination with FS infantry have routed a lot of Turbo's infantry here on our left flank. Now, this was a good tactical move here by FS and um, Killer B. Uh, cavalry and infantry attack there, routing a lot of Turbo's infantry. In fact, I would say that the enemy's uh, flank here has been broken. I think we've broken the enemy flank there, and we're looking to break uh, the centre, the left centre there as well of the enemy team. Let's say, meanwhile over here, you'll see that Charlie's left some units there to face First Prime, but both First Prime and Charlie have sent reinforcements over to the centre there, as both may well realise this could be a decisive part of the battle there in the center they've thrown in so as i say both teams have barricaded the front door here and the other and each team is trying to break down that barricaded front door there with just massive cavalry hits there's infantry been fighting for ages there as well my infantry has been holding well bearing in mind it was my um attack that kind of was a catalyst if you like of this um particular part of the battlefield there of everything charging in. I can see First Prime charging in some more of his SBQR infantry there. And you can see his cavalry charging in there as well. Just look at the penetration as it goes in there. Look at bang as it smashes in there. Oh my gosh. The penetration there that that cavalry has got there would be really, it might not have routed any of our units, but it would have really weakened them there. So that's a massive battle still going on there. But meanwhile, as I say, over on our left flank, a combination of FF infantry and Killer B's cavalry there has caused a lot of problems to the enemy. They've kind of brought some troops over there to kind of shore up that particular part of the battlefield there. But I think FF and Killer B have done really well on our left flank. And now we've got to try and roll the enemy up if we can. As I say, over on our right flank there, you'll see First Prime and Charlie holding, both of them holding really well there on our right flank there. So well done to both of them there. But as I say, in the centre here, you can see we're still charging cavalry units in. In there, like a bang! And another charge of cavalry going in there, like a bang! As that smashes in there as well. Really try. As I say, it's just a massive hit here from both teams cavalry and infantry going in. oh we've routed one of their generals that's good news for us pause the game for a second 
so it looks like um, Sarge is general has now been routed so they've lost the general morale bonus there and that's good news for us that's really good news and you can see it's starting to pierce through I think a little bit there but let's say I've got my um, infantry general there old guard remember I'm old guard too I've got my infantry general and my two eagle units there have been there all the way through the battle and remember that they don't just give morale bonus to my troops they give morale bonus to all my allies that are close as well so that could have well been the um, help there there you can see um, Danish general a little bit exposed possibly to getting hit there from our cavalry but if you look here over on our right flank first prime here is having a real tussle with Charlie um, there whoever Charlie really is but having a real tussle there and you can see first prime's cavalry there as well so first prime's doing really well on that right flank holding really well there but you can see a lot of the enemy troops are starting to rout now the first prime's bringing his cavalry over here maybe looking to smash into charlie's infantry engaged infantry here is possibly what he's looking to do but as i say on our um left flank here i think f f uh, with a combination of killer bees cavalry there i think they've done really well um in the center we're gradually winning i think and uh, i think charlie as i say whoever he is there's holding well against first prime you can see first prime's um, infantry surging forward there and routing several of our scipii troops nice attack there by uh, first prime you can see another one there general's gone danish general now has been routed as well so the morale bonus from that um, unit has now been lost for the enemy team. You can see there, um, and I can see, I think it was that another general unit there just been routed there as well. I think that could be Turbo's general just been routed. Pause the game for a second there. So um, let's say our left flank and left center has now broken the enemy there at that part of the battle there. And you can see there all the uh, Julii troops there have now been routed and we're going to try and roll up first prime now from um right to left or from left to right there depends on which way you look at it but first prime has been holding really well against charlie all the way through this battle and he's been using his cavalry to support his allies as well so well done the first prime there but um if we look around the battlefield there you'll see that um our blue scipii units um seem to have become um triumphant if you like over the battlefield there and we're just maybe starting to look to roll up first prime's infantry now i dare say that's what uh, we're looking to do as i say as first prime's been holding really well on this flank but the numbers game now is going to come against against him now as i think all of his allies basically have been routed you already can see first prime's general still alive but he's under attack you can see there a lot of our Scipio troops are looking to attack and he's routed now there so um we managed to uh to go on to um to win the battle there pause again for a second here now you can see that the battle was fought all the way along the battle line there there was no skirmishing away from the battle line is all the way along the battle line there we start on our left flank here where Turbo um, was attacked by FF and um, Killer B's cavalry there. And then we move up further along the battle line. I think it was um, Danny that was there as well in the in our left center. We move further on along there. You can see just how intense the fighting was by the dead there. But I think we're still gonna come up to the most intense part of the battlefield, which is here. This is the center where we were each trying to break down um, the other's barricaded front door with massive hits there. Just look at the dead there. I mean, oh my gosh, it was so intense, wasn't it? And then we move over to our right flank, moving along here. And you can see now that... Um, uh, you can see just how intense the fighting was there, all the way from one end of the line to the other. So, um, yeah, it was just a complete... Of battle along those battle lines there there was no skirmish in elsewhere it was just all the way along that uh, that battle line there and as I say it looks like our team has um, has managed to go on to to win the battle there now sadly with these old battles very often you don't get the battle results at the end 
Um, right, there you go. Now the replay's finished and you don't get the actual battle results. And that's because this battle was fought on a completely different format, if you, if you like. It was been fought, A, from the CD. We all loaded up CD to play this battle. And also we were playing it on the Game Spy server. Okay, so it's like a completely different format. So when you when you watch it, you can see the battle on Steam, but for some reason, some of the battles don't show the battle results at the end. Some of the battles do, strangely enough. I've looked through a lot of the older battles that um, FS has sent me, and some of them do show the battle results, but some of them don't. And unfortunately, you can see that this uh, this replay's finished before the battle results come up, and that's just because it was played on a different format there from steam so anyway i hope you enjoyed this battle from 13 years ago as i say um during the week now i should be putting on old battles but saturday be the modern ones